I'm Susan. And would you believe it? When your ideas are simple, you begin to actually market creatively all the way through. It's when you put the um, extra into the keep it simple stupid, or in my case, keep it simple Susan, because I'm Susan from Susan Lewis Marketing. Okay, when you put the extra bits and you start to really overwhelm your poor tired brain, ideas and areas of opportunity seem to go poof and they just run away. So even if you have a target audience, they're going to be kept away as well. When that happens, you have little opportunity in your head to have room to actually build your business. And by that, I mean there are so many our ideas out there, things you're used to, <coughs> and if you think about it, you can't get or other people can't get a copy of because mass producing them for only a few cents doesn't give the quality that people are now expecting to get. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, you look at this digital economy from, especially from 2008 when the world economy just went, right, and just went flop out the door. Where, where were you? I know what I was doing at that stage. I was, would you believe it, driving a taxi. Um, I had got whooping cough that year and I was no longer at uni doing another course <coughs> to update my skills. So um, once that was over, <coughs> I went back to work. Now, that took a long time. The point is, just at that point, along comes the world financial collapse, WFC. And through that, um, we lost drivers. I didn't own the business, but I drove for the, a man that did. And we lost, as a group, as a team, we lost so much um, energy in the whole environment that just people went, look, we can't do it anymore, we've got to move, and <coughs> I ended up driving, <coughs> or at least being on call to drive. <coughs> which is another long story in itself. Um, however, there were so many opportunities I saw in the time that there was no money <coughs> in order to invest in them, which was a real shame. So when I came across the company that I am now learning through and putting all these things these little bits together, building my belief system up in people and in opportunities and in the future. For me, I've had to go and realize that there was a, a problem within, and it was left over from years ago, but we'll fix that. So what I have got to is like, like this stage in my life, and I've gone back. 30 years when I very first saw a balloon, well actually it was a market, and I went to that big market and it was boring. I was bored. And um, I went back a few weeks later and a few weeks after that, still boring, still boring. So I decided that I had to stay out of where we lived because my husband was working all hours and he was asleep. And of course, the little one that we had was um, two years old. You can imagine the small space of where we lived. Yeah, she was in a caravan. Um, so very small space. Sneeze, and the whole world knew. So I would take our daughter <coughs> out to this particular market at 
four o'clock in the morning, drove there in the van, and I had a um, face painting set. I'd come across it somewhere. And it cost me $300, I think, at that stage. And I sat there and I just painted people as they come past. Their canvases with the skin, and I painted their inside person onto their outside. Got me in trouble. And then I started thinking, well, okay, a, a girl came along and she wanted to use and learn. Don't ever ask me to paint Spider-Man or Cinderella or something because it'll come out all funny, but that, that inside person was coming out then. And so I started selling balloons. And the little balloons that we got, they were about this big, and they went to a meter, is that, yeah, a meter in diameter. And I'd open the top of them up, roll them down and open the top of them up and somehow in my fingers, I think I actually managed to open them like that, I'd have a funnel, scoop a whole lot of confetti, put it into the balloon, hold it and now I had this, this definite thing and I'd put it onto the nozzle of the gas cylinder and the noise of the confetti going round and round and round, it was like a magnet. So what I learned uh, was you have some motion, some magnetism, some sound. You draw people to you. Now, with since 1991 and that time, I had literally been forced to forget it through having no memory. But those things are starting to come back and it's due to the company that I'm doing this training from. Now, it feels as though I'm back here, but I've actually lived here, and I have in my past, pre that time. So I'm now connecting them all up. So what I'm doing now is I'm running Hangouts, and I'm offering to help people with a bright idea, like myself with the face painting and the balloons and the 20 years of working in a youth organization, voluntary, we would have to come up with ideas and the kids would come up with them because I was working with the kids and we would see that whole thing grow. It was amazing what those kids learned. You know, it be 15 years worth of actually that system and all I had done was unknowingly gone back to before the car accident and worked through the brainstorming, the the extraction of the ideas from their heads that was amazing. Once they got that used to that, they just flowed and things would happen and the energy from them as a collective group was really amazing. The same as with the company I'm in, I'll leave you a link. Now, what happened? Well, when you could see that thing you envisaged, um, maybe it was a camp, we had a lot of camps, or a uh, weekend, a uh, 24 hour stay for the six, seven, eight, nine year olds, and they had the area I'm in that currently, they, they, they sat in front of the TV and literally scoffed their food, there was no table manners, there was, they didn't even know how to eat, wash hands, anything. So we taught them that as the animals an animals overnight stay. It was that we had tall giraffes, they stood this tall, stuffed toys. These kids had never seen that and I was amazed because what I got told years later was they'd get Christmas presents, yeah, and by New Year the parents needed money so they'd take the Christmas presents to the hawk shop and you know they, those kids had nothing. But when I buy something it stays, which is probably why I have got rid of a lot of stuff to the op shops recently. But the point was that you gift somebody something and you keep that gift. They keep that gift, I should say, until they're ready to give it up, not have it taken from them. And I know how that feels because of the memory loss. Okay, but back to what I'm saying. It's all the same. People have an idea. It's a gift. What are they going to do with it? How are they going to get it from here, right, over past their everyday now current life? Envisage it and take it through to production at 
a marketplace level so they can sell it. Now, what I found is it's amazing because there's a big gap and that is what I'm offering to help you with, filling that gap. If you're interested in the company, fine, go and have a look at the link. Oh, by the way, subscribe. But it doesn't matter if you are or aren't because Susan Lewis Marketing is there to help you get over that initial, or what do I do with suggestion. Yeah. So come on in. We have hangouts, especially when I can. It's a new scheme for me. I'm busy learning it so I can help you. <laughs> I'm having a ball drawing faces and oh, it's fun. Google Hangouts is terrific. So, come and have a look at the Hangout. Register for yourself on the Hangout. Go to the page that I'm going to leave you. It's just a normal web page. Go there. I'll also leave you 